Welcome to Sprint 14, a catch crop. Uh, this is our bi-weekly sprint review for the common stack, and we have a lot to go through, so let's just dive right in. The hatch has begun, well, at least the beginning of the hatch process. We're doing something really wild here, participatory economics. I don't, we don't really think about it, but every economy that's ever been designed has been designed by a small group of people and initialized and, and launched, and then other people get to join. And in the old world, legacy economics, it was always imposed on people. Uh, in crypto, it's better because you opt in, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a small group of people that decide how it is, and, and then people decide if they want to join after the fact. Here we're doing, this will be the first economy that's actually designed from the bottom up where everybody gets to actually participate. And we are doing it in a fun way. Come join some parties. You know, designing economies is fun. And so we throw on some music and we hack into this dashboard and we see how it goes. But the place to start isn't the dashboard. It's actually on Wesley's token log, uh, amazing project. And this is where you get to start. You really wanna start just by reviewing people's uh, proposals. So for instance, we have uh, Livia's crystal ball proposal and we have uh, the original Goldilocks proposal. And these, these end up, you can see what they have, uh, how they're designed. And then you can end up uh, actually just clicking here and you'll go to the dashboard to uh, fork it. So like uh, Goldilocks for instance, has been forked so many times. Uh, it's first I forked it. And then uh, Chewy forked mine, uh, Mark, uh, sorry, Vitor for forked mine, and they, they kind of th thread out because you can go to these sets of parameters and you can just change one little thing and boom, you proposed an economy. It's really engaging, so don't be shy, jump on in. Uh, the other thing I wanna show off is our budget. Oh man, holy crap, bull market is fun. Uh, we, and this is the first time ever, ooh, this is, uh, this is our last holdings. We had 243 in March, and now we have 370K. Uh, we actually, for the first time ever, uh, had more influx of, uh, of money than we had outgoing. Uh, well, not the first time ever, obviously, but uh, usually we, we've been making most of our money off of crypto market fluctuation which we, we definitely have done very well this time. Uh, but uh, now we're actually having income streams because of the trusted seed uh, and, and it's been really good. So the other thing I wanna highlight is uh, stakes.social. We, we have made $26,000 off of people staking dev tokens in our, into our repo. So thank you very much to anyone who staked dev tokens uh, for the common stack. That's, pretty huge. And with that, I'll pass it to Tam. Yes, excellent. Okay, cool. So I'm sharing the right screen. Okay, so, um, you know, we just finished our retro and honestly, we just get so high from the amazing feelings afterwards. Uh, we talk about everything that went well this sprint and um, just to take a moment to remember all the things that have happened that we've sort of swept aside because they're in the past and then to sort of bring them up and celebrate them and then look at the things we can do better and how we're gonna improve it and uh, bring something into this sprint. Um, which is going to be to spend a little more time looking at our uh, risks and doing some more uh, risks management this, uh, this sprint. Um, this sprint is a catch crop. Um, you might tell that I've been hitting the agricultural encyclopedia and a catch crop is a fast growing crop that's grown in between plantings of main crops. Um, it helps the soil and it's usually something that's quick to, it's something that's a quick like a salad or endives or radishes that you, that you can eat while you're waiting for your crops to grow. Um, farmers are going to farm and we're going to continue with our agricultural analogies and our sprint names. Um, so sprint 14 um, is, uh, sprint 15 will be planned on Monday, so come back and check out our, uh, mile, use the milestone to drop down to the sprint name uh, if you want to see what we're going to be up to in the next two weeks. 
For the um, community commons deployments, we have the TEC, of course, which is the first community to deploy the common stack design pattern. It's a closed hatch. It's closed to number go up people, but it's open to you because you're the trusted seed. <laughs> so we already have 90 committed hatchers and uh, over 400,000 die in soft commitments. Um, uh, we have the big params vote that's coming up next week. And of course the hatch will hatch when it's ready, you know, looking, still looking at like it's at the end of the month, um, we're on track, but the nature of doing something that nobody's ever done before is that we deal with a lot of unexpected. So uh, as soon as it's ready, it'll hatch and we will have more information, uh, well, every sprint review. Okay, so the last thing, and this is the most important, Come and get your swag. We've had we've had so many. We have over half of the activated memberships haven't um, gotten their swag yet, so they're being airdropped. If you have activated your membership and you didn't see your email or it's in your spam folder, please reach out to me or reach out to Dan or reach out to any of us, and we'll let you know how to collect your swag. It's in your uh, in your trusted seed address on the Rinkby network. And with that, I will pass to Livia. Thank you, Tim. Let me just quickly share my screen. So we finally have the final version of the mission, vision, and values. And just like Griff was saying, this is the first time that we're doing um, a process where the community decides everything. Uh, it's the first, the first time a DAO is doing this, that a DAO has picked uh, its vision, mission, and values collectively before the lunch. So I'm just gonna read it out loud so everybody can get introduced to the TC vision, mission and values. So our vision is to enable the creation of ethical, safe, resilient and diverse economic systems to benefit societies around the world. Our mission is to become a shilling point for the token engineering community. Our economic layer will fund projects that discover, develop and proliferate the best practices for engineering safe tokenized economies while aligning our collective success with the individual benefit of token holders. Our social layer is even more important and it will unite to the token engineering field around the ethical principles, standards, tools, and methodologies that emerge as this nascent field advances. And our commons operates from a pro-social human-centered perspective and prioritizes the advancement of token engineering over short-term profits. Integrity, curiosity, constructive inquiry, presence, and gratitude are foundational for maintaining mutual respect within our growing community. We encourage our members to be radically open source, non-hierarchical, transparent in their intentions and accountable for their actions. It sounds so beautiful. I love reading it. Um, and the next thing I wanted to update was that we had a session with Anna Marie Swan uh, she was hosting this very amazing panel talking about a new way of governing common resources uh, based on uh, Ostrom's, Ostrom's principles. And uh, she invited uh, me, Jess, Julio, and Yust from Haifa X and uh, Haifa Earth and Seeds. So we had a very nice chat for an hour and you can check out the recording. Uh, it's going to be available um, here below. <laughs> and with that, I'll pass to Chris. All right. Yeah, so from my area, I mean, the biggest thing that uh, that we pushed out from comms this week, uh, or the sprint, I should say, was the newsletter. So hopefully all of you received a uh, newsletter into your inbox, hopefully not to your spam folder, but uh, check that spam folder if you didn't see it. So uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in that newsletter. Um, we had talked a bit about the mission, vision, values vote that uh, Libby just talked about. We um, we published a few pieces on Medium that uh, explain a bit more about what our vision is for the Common Stack in 2021, um, and a little bit about how we are framing our work streams and that kind of thing. So make sure you check out our Medium uh, blog as well. There's some new pieces out there. Um, we also have the praise case study. It also went out in the newsletter, but we've got a, a standalone landing page. So if you have friends outside of the Trusted Seed that would like access to that PDF, it's really beautifully formatted by our contributors and written by uh, our, our other contributor, Atta. So um, 
really check that out. It's it's a really cool uh, look at the praise the praise system and how it works. Um, the uh, it's been linked up to a subdomain of the Common Stack website now, so you can access it at directly at casestudy.commonstack.org. Um, so yeah, check that out, and uh, it'll hopefully be on the website uh, as soon as well. But uh, yeah, the other, uh, the only other main thing that I would like to say is please join us for meme parties. There are lots of fun uh, on Friday afternoons. Uh, well, I guess Friday afternoons. Uh, uh, PST, but depending on your time zone, <laughs> check it out. Um, it's on our shared calendars. Um, but yeah, lots of fun. Uh, we get a lot of cool, uh, me memorable, memeable content. Uh, so uh, we'd love to see you guys there. Um, and yeah, with that, I will pass to Jess. <laughs> Jess, you're on mute. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I said, can you see my screen? Okay. Meme Lords assemble. Okay. Assemble. I thought that was appropriate for the transition. Anyhow, thanks, Chris. Very cool stuff. Um, I am going to share just a couple of things today. Uh, so we put out a new article on Zen and the art of understanding the common stack and aligning work streams to nurture an ecosystem. So we have loads of new contributors coming in and uh, a lot of you have asked you know, for uh, an explainer to get a little more insight into what exactly it is that we do. Um, and so we uh, gave this article a little less technical explainer of what is the common stack. And we took this kind of inspiration um, from the uh, yogic philosophy and chakras and lined up our different um, kind of work streams within the common stack. So check that out if you haven't had a chance. We go into detail about the work that each of these um, parts of the organization are doing and, and how you can collaborate as well and, and maybe get a little closer to our community and uh, get involved. And then I just wanted to mention as well, um, if you haven't already, Twitter is really the place to get all the updates and gives a lot of opportunity to connect. Um, so if you haven't already, just go and check it out. And also our friends over at the Token Engineering Commons. So I'll start sharing. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff coming up that I hope to share with you on uh, the next Sprint Retro, particularly. There's a cool governance event coming up. So look out, stay tuned to Twitter to hear about that. And I got a pineapple cup. So that was exciting. All right, and with that, I'll pass to Jeff. Nice. I. Uh... I opted out of a pineapple cup, but I'm deeply regretting it now. So I think we'll have to go back. Um, other other news in this uh, sprint. Yeah, we had a, a publishing spree. So we also put out a piece on what's in a hatch. Um, so understanding the initial conditions uh, in the first phase of a commons deployment, of course, the first of which is the token engineering commons. Um, so this really goes into details about why the hatch at a high level um, you know, what kind of system are we talking about launching? What is the reason we do it in uh, multiple phases? Um, how does the, how do the mechanics work out? The token flows, who's involved, what's involved, uh, how you can get involved, um, all of that stuff. So um, massive thanks to everyone who is participating in this piece. I think it was almost the whole team uh, had a, a say in, in writing that. So really fantastic. And I think it lays out uh, very clearly the point of uh, why we're initializing these systems in multiple parts and, and how to go about that. Um, another piece we put out, uh, this was basically just putting a, a case study, an academic case study by Felix Fritsch onto Medium. Um, so just basically bringing in all of the content into our uh, regular comm stream. If you haven't read the case study yet and uh, you are of an academic bent, this is definitely a great place to understand uh, all of the deeper mechanisms and, uh, and goings on of the common stack. So come check that out. Um, and you can find all these in our new content map. Uh, and this will be pinned in our channels and dropped in a couple of different places. We pulled this together, uh, just sort of grouping all of our topics, uh, all of our articles over the past year or two. Uh, we're adding in, um, you know, all of our latest pieces. So you can, as a new reader, someone who's unfamiliar with the common stack, you can come to this and read uh, as much as you like, you know, follow the rabbit hole is where your curiosity takes you. Uh, so we're really happy to share uh, some of these resources with you and uh, help to grow everyone's understanding of all the fantastic work going on here in this project. Uh, and I'll pass it to uh, Dan. Hey, 
<laughs> so hi guys. I had my trusted seat right here anyway, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, some trusted seed stats. Uh, so basically, April closed with 55 trusted seed applications. Uh, and now, for example, May so far has got 23. So I don't know, things are heating up. I just went quickly into the into spreadsheets and it, it turns out that 2021, we had 241 applicants so far. That's interesting. And more, most interesting when you think about it, the trusted seed activation so far. So 117 activations, that's fun. Uh, about four, I think it's 413 people can still activate. So please go ahead, we had scholarships. And this this is something fun. For example, right now I'm prepping up the six that score increase notification for the month that just passed. So basically we sent the one for March uh, it was kind of late, but it came out. Uh, so we are already prepping for, for the new one. Um, for basically the six stats for minting for what comes from the praise earners. So this is this is very tricky because this this is something that, that will happen that you guys must know. Uh, we will be burning six stack of people that haven't activated. You can activate now. As I mentioned, there are scholarships. If you are listening, you're looking at this video right now, you're probably an insider. So go now jump right there <laughs> i mean there, there's there's nothing to think about just just go there and um, as part of this uh griff and i has been, have been going through an ongoing audit of the trusted seats so th thinking about new processes of people coming in uh so we didn't have a process on you know some people apply and don't don't input an eat address so we need more information or you know there are uh, several specifics that we need to look at. Um, and now we had also a couple of new questions in the type form. So your friends that are applying right now, when they go and apply to be a successful applicant to the trusted seat and later activate, uh, they can now say like, oh, I got, refer I got referred by my friend who's already in the trusted seat, who's a token engineer. So that's great. And uh, just as well, they can put down like who they will love for, for us to have joined the trusted seat. So those couple of things are there. Uh, there's also a lot of beautiful conversations facilitated by Tamara, love you, Dan, on how we make the basically the membership that more amazing because it's, it's amazing, but it's, it's gonna be even more amazing how we visualize who is already in the trusted seat down there. So shout outs to Christopher, I mean, and Merlin on being awesome and Tamara as well. Like, oh my God, guys. Uh, so a lot of things are happening right here. And so, yes. So please, please remember to activate your membership before the burn. <laughs> and we'll put the, the link will be in the review share. So just go now. Back to you, Griff. Wow, a incredible sprint. I wanna just dish praise to the people who couldn't be here that helped make the sprint so magical. Ivy for all our help with the accounting, sending out the boards, airdropping CS love to everyone and making so many tweets. Uh, Wesley for token log, like, thank you so much, Wesley. A uh, major praise to Vitor, Fabio, Lauren, Mitch, Sam, and Nuggin that they pushed the dashboard out this sprint uh, with uh, lots of last minute uh, changes. Uh, Katie for her amazing blog posts uh, and also uh, working with Juan Carlos, Katie and Juan Carlos on the on polishing the MVV with Livia and I. Uh, also Anna and Marie for putting together a great panel and inviting us to it. Uh, Atta for his hard work on the praise study. Felix for the academic paper that he wrote many, many months ago, but we're still getting uh, feed, great feedback on. And uh, Christopher, Merlin, Amin, and uh, for the their work on the Swiss membership app. And of course, to all of you, the 117 activated trusted seed members. Thank you so much for uh, holding on to your to your on-chain uh, C stack score. And for the rest of you, you better you better hurry up because uh, the burn is coming. Thank you.